Some assignment operators in C perform a calculation and then assign the result to a variable. These are called compound assignment operators. For example, the plus equals operator is a compound assignment operator that performs both addition and assignment. These are some of the common compound assignment operators available in C. The operator itself is shown in the left column. Then there is an example showing how it might be used with variables called a and b. And in the right hand column you can see how the same results could be achieved using non-compound operators. Let me explain these. First plus equals. Now let's assume that the variable a is an integer with the value 10 and the variable b is an integer with the value 2 a plus equals b adds the value of b, that's 2, to the value of a, which is 10. And it assigns the result, that's 12, back to the a variable. So a is now equal to 12. If a is 10 and b is 2, a minus equals b subtracts 2 from a to give 8, and assigns that value back to the variable a. If a is 10 and b is 2, a star equals or times equals b multiplies a by b, that's 10 by 2, to give 20 and that result, 20, is assigned to a. If a is 10 and b is 2, a forward slash equals, or that is divide equals, divides a by b to give 5, and that result, 5, is assigned to A. Now it's up to you which syntax you prefer to use in your own code. Many C and C++ programmers prefer the short form as in A plus equals B, but the same effect is achieved by using the slightly longer form as in A equals A plus B. Now here are some examples of compound operators in the sample project, 0, 0, underscore operators. The best way to understand them is to run the code. And that's what I'm doing now. So, remember a equals 10, and I've already assigned the value of 2 to b. So in this case, I have a plus equals b, and I end up with 12. That is, the value of a is 12 at the end of that operation. Here I have a minus equals b, again a is 10, b is 2, so minus equals subtracts 2 and assigns the value back to a, which is 8. a times equals b, again a equals 10, b equals 2, result is 20. a divide equals b, and here the result is 5.